Alright, here we are with BioCube Basics with Smiley Dakota for the 14 gallon BioCube and we're getting ready to do a water change here and Smiley's going to do her three main water tests for us so get the water mm -hmm. so every week once we get past week one there's really only three main things we need to check she's filling up the test tubes to the, to the line this is the API master test kit by Aquarium Pharmaceuticals um, the full kit should run you around $25 or so and we're gonna test KH for your carbonates if your KH is correct that means your pH is correct so we don't normally test for pH unless there's a problem with the KH test our nitrates and we'll test our calcium So she's going to do this in real time. <laughs> so the first drop will turn the test tube, test tube blue. Why are you reading the bottle? Because it tells you how many drops. That's what it tells me. So this is a titration. So the first drop is going to turn the bottle, shake it up. It's going to turn it blue. Put your thumb, yep. yep. So okay. what I normally do is I just go ahead and add five drops. So just do four more because you know your cage is not going to be below five. So we got five drops in there. It's still blue. So now we're going to do one drop at a time. We're looking for the single drop that turns the test tube from blue to yellow. And we're hoping that takes uh, between eight and 12 drops, preferably in the, right in the middle around 10. So how many was that? Two plus five? Seven. Seven. So your KH is pretty low, and that can be easily explained by the vast amount of livestock you have in the tank. Yeah. Okay. All right. So well, why don't is we, that yellow? That's kind of green. Let me see. It's still. I mean, so you could be seven point five best case scenario. Okay. Still, still low. All right. And that means we just need to add some KH buffer or builder to the tank. Why don't we do calcium next? Which one? Yep. Bottle one. Mm -hmm. Bottle one, you do 10 drops. And this is another titration test. So this one, we're going to go from pink to purple. So you use 10 drops of reagent one, shake it up, it'll be clear at first. She's very focused. Drops. Tremendous concentration going on there. So let's see the test tube. It's just like a milky white, right? Milky white. Okay. So here again, I do the same thing. Now, I'd put 10 drops of reagent number two in there because we know our calcium is never going to be lower than that. And then we'll count the drops. Do I need to shake we, that? Yeah, shake it up real quick. Ten. Mm-hmm. And this will turn the test tube pink. Let's see. Yep, pink. Okay. So what color pink. are we going for? So to turn to like a purple color. And we're hoping it's going to take around 20. So it's at 12. What? 13. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Great. What was that? 16. But you were counting. I lost track. <laughs> 17. This needs to get darker. Yep. 19. Oh. Let me see. 19. That? That's 19. That's still not. That's changing. Put one more in there and see. It's going to be like a deep purple. What was that? 19. 19. So this is 20. 20. This could be the. 19. This could be the winner. Ooh, look at there you are. So that's perfect. So. 
What I like about this calcium test kit is one drop equals uh, 20 milligrams per liter. So 20 drops is means your calcium is 400 milligrams per liter. So that's what we want. Calcium is perfect. Now for the nitrate test kit, uh, 10 drops of reagent one. That's nitrite, babe. Oh yeah. Nitrate. Test the reagent number two. You gotta shake up really, really well. Number one doesn't matter. Reagent two has got some zinc powder in it, like a metal metal powder. And if you don't shake that container up a full minute, like really hard, like you're beating a ketchup bottle, you're not gonna get a, a, an accurate nitrate reading. You should have worked in a lab somewhere. I like your I like your drop style you got. Very accurate. Alright, so that's ten drops of reagent one. Just go ahead and make and shake it like beat the bottom like a ketchup bottle too. Yeah. If you don't <laughs> if you don't, you're not gonna get an accurate test. If you don't get that heavy metal powder and solution. Oh, you usually do this? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Remember you were gonna do everything with this accordion. Oh, right. yes. Today's the day. Five months old, Corium's five months old, it's time to, time to grow up. <laughs> they have to the mm -hmm. That's probably good. Okay, 10? Right. 10 drops of that. Yep. And then this one, I'd actually put the cap on the test tube after you're done and shake it. Okay, why is that? I just don't like it. My finger, my oils, my acidity from my see the cap to the right. Oh yes. You're supposed to look like you've done this before. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So that's gonna take five minutes to color up. Oh. Okay. So you know, you can set a little timer on your phone or whatever. What I'll take care of it here. Oh, okay. Um. So those are the three million water tests we do, and if we have if we have trouble with the KH, then we'll go ahead and test pH. Um, if the calcium's low, um, if any of them are low. So if the calcium's low, we add, we like, you're, you're currently using the, uh, you want to show them what you're using? Seachem's mm -hmm. Refusion two-part system. So for the smaller nano reefs, this is a two-part dosing system, which is easy to use. Um, you need to wait five minutes or so between each one. So if your calcium is low, you dose the calcium solution and follow the instructions. If your KH is low, you do dose fusion two to base your carbonate level. If your nitrates are high, and we consider high above uh, 20 milligrams per liter, so zero to 20 is what we're shooting for. If it's above 20, then we do like a 25% water change. So we'll post your test results below. I'm sure these people don't want to wait five minutes right. for this to color up. And this is Smiley Dakota for Aquarium Outfitters doing her water tests. We thank you all for watching and please support your local fish store.